Scorpions, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is the last reading of the year 2019. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Whatever the issue and the situation is, I am um, so grateful for being here um, on camera to say um, goodbye to the whole year and a new start. This week is also a new start, so let's see. What's coming up for you, Scorpion? So, Scorpion, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. What's coming up for the Scorpion? The week begins from the 23rd until the 29th of December. Scorpion, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Scorpion, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. What is happening for the Scorpion? Let's see, Scorpion. You're going within. It's a week where you, Scorpions, it's Christmas. You're going within. You're trying to figure out what is going on. Um, you're really going within. I see heartbreaks is coming up, whatever the issue and the situation is. I see some heartbreaks is coming up for you, Scorpions. I see you have a lot of worries. A lot of worries is, um, is happening. A whole lot of worries and it has to do with some deceptiveness that has transpired it is definitely some deceptiveness that has transpired and it has to do that you need to make a listen you have to make a decision with the whatever has transpired I see secrets coming out and these secrets are bringing heartbreak I see the quest of emotion. So you young people have a lot of secrets that is coming out. You young people had done some deceptiveness that is coming out. I see heartbreak and I see that some of you could be um, um, on the investigation or you're going to be picked up. Heartbreaks because some of you might be ending up in a jail. Okay. Now the situation is that with whatever the issue and the situation is i see art breaks and it has to do something deceptive that you have done to a taurus virgo or capricorn so let's see why are you going within you're going within you have the energy of the six of swords you are going within and thinking of relocating so you're going within and thinking of relocating some of you want to um let go um an Aries Leo or Sagittarius I see you're turning your back on an Aries Leo or Sagittarius this is a younger person than you whoever this person is I see that this person have done some deceptive um ness and I see this could be your child I see you're going to be turning your back um on a child or someone that at your work but this whoever this person is is very deceptive but you're going to be overcoming this situation because an Aries Leo Sagittarius has done some deceptive thing. But this person, you are going to be um, getting over this situation, okay? You're going to be successing. And um, an Aries, an Aquarian, and an Aries, and, and uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius have done some deceptive thing and they're going to be caught. I see the energy with family. Family is going to be protecting you. Um, and uh, I see the Eight of Cups uh, that some of you turn away from family and it's time to be back with a family. Um, this is uh, the uh, King of uh, um, a Pisces, Cancer or a Scorpion. So some of you um, is heartbroken by the King, by a Pisces man. Okay, a Pisces man, 45 years and older. Some of you are, are heartbroken by a Pisces man. This could be a family member, um, 45 years and older. It's a Pisces man who could be a family member. All right, then we see a new start, but you are worried. And you start with your financial situation, but you're worried. Uh, I see um, um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is going to be helping you out, but you're worried. Um, you're going to be successful over this situation. So it's as if this um, old man, it could be a father that is going to be helping you out, giving you a helping hand. I see that your father is going to be helping you out, giving you a helping hand. If your father is a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, because I see you're going to be successful coming out of this situation. Okay. 
I see a lot of information coming in to you about some deceptiveness that has transpired, okay? And it has to do, the deceptiveness has to do with some money, okay? Some money, I see. And it has to do with a young person that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. So I see a young person that's a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn has done some deceptive thing that has to do with money and it's going to be coming in. I see your wishes and dreams is going to be coming out. Your wishes and dreams over a situation and you're going to be having a new start and a new beginning. Okay, so I see your wishes and dream about a new situation is going to be coming out and you're going to be having a new start a new start commitment is here for some of you i see some of you are going to be committing to someone in a relationship but i see you're worried i see you're worried for commitment i see you don't really want to commit you're worried about commitments okay i see the energy of the five of pentacles is happening the energy of the five of pentacles and i see a new start is going to be coming in so whatever the issue and the situation is I see that some of you were dealing with some issues and situation. I see your father, if your father is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a man that is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is going to be, you're going to be celebrating over this man, whatever that has happened or transpired, or this man could be helping you to get you out of a, a worrisome situation that you are in. Um, I see news is coming in from a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn, whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is. I see news coming in from this person and I see you are just going to be blasting this person and said, look, do not connect with me, whatever. I see this person could be returning some money to you because they find out that a cancer has done some deceptive situation. So I see this is money coming in for you because um, a cancer, you're going to be coming out of a hardship. You're going to be coming out of a hardship. And whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, I see um, they are going to be sending you some news and uh, um, let you be aware of some money that is coming in for you. And with an apology because they realize that a cancer has deceived you with a, a deceive you of a whole lot of money um yeah money is going to be coming in for you okay it is a legal issue and uh, um you're going to be receiving a new start because money is going to be coming in for you i uh, see also that um some of you young cancer young scorpions um was really out in the cold and i see you're going to be receiving an helping hand and you're going to be receiving a lot of money um mm, your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true and you're going to be having the chance to get a new start for some of you young scorpions okay i see and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius wants to commit with you, but you're afraid of commitment. If you don't feel like to do it, then don't do it. Whoever this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is, I see that you they want you to commit with, um, but you are afraid to commit with them. So listen to your intuition, because a lot of time, a lot of situation is that um, your intuition, if you do not feel like to um get married to someone or get in a commitment to relationship with someone is that your spirit guides is aware is letting you be aware that it's not the right person okay so a lot of people do um love rituals to get people and hold people and this is one of the situation that um it is telling you no um don't get involved with this person because it's not the right person so here is the commitment and i see your spirit guide is saying no don't do it all right so whoever out there that an aries leo or sagittarius is pushing you to get married don't do it um it is the wrong thing to do it is not the right person okay because here is um the the worries 
don't do it it's not the right thing because that's what your spirit guide is saying someone wants you to get married but it's not the right thing to do don't go in um this contract or don't go in this business deal but it's mostly like um your girlfriend want you to get um married to her and she said your your spirit guides is like no no don't do it because um it's not the right thing to do some of you um could be receiving message from a young taurus virgo or capricorn person because she's going to be realizing that uh, um an older taurus virgo or capricorn person has stolen some money they're going to be returning the money to you okay so whatever that is there and is transpiring i see your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true um um however your wishes and dreams is going to come in true i see some of you are making a decision to relocate and this is going to be much better for you so you Pisces if you're making your you scorpions if you're deciding to make a decision to relocate that would be the best option for you money is coming in you're going to be happy with the, the you know what you were expecting I see you're really successfully um coming out of a situation a worrisome situation that you were in very successful i see an old um you all you men 45 years and older i see you have regrets ever deal with a pisces man so you men 45 years and older are having heartbreaks ever dealing with a pisces man so whatever that is it could be a pisces man in the family or a pisces man that was married in your family but i see you have regrets dealing with that pisces man i also see that some of you on the work floor you're going to be finding out something um uh, it, it's like you're going to be finding out something january um whatever and what you're going to be finding out is lies and deceptiveness um, and it has to do with an Aquarian and uh, um, a Ram Leo of Boatscott, an Aquarian Ram Leo of Boatscott. So what we have here is money coming in. This is a good week for you guys. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Your wishes and dreams are going to be happening. You, um, you, um, Scorpion. This is going to be good. It's a wonderful week. Enjoy Christmas. Um, this is a very beautiful reading for you guys after all that has happened hope i trust that god has a wonderful solution and brilliant plans in store for me hope i trust that god have a solution and brilliant plans in store for me so whatever this is going on i want to say really to you scorpions merry christmas have a wonderful christmas namaste until next time